So this video is to show you how to uh, fit and adjust your Calder Pips grip for a trombone with no trigger. I've got a Con 8H here and a Bark 12, um, so a small bore and a large bore. It's only slightly different and the concept is exactly the same. But if you have got one of these grips which has been fitted for a trombone with a trigger, it's a slightly different shaping from us at the beginning, so a different starting point because your thumb needs to sit in a very different place to get over the bar than when you have a trigger, obviously. So what you'll notice straight away is that there's quite a sharp angle here, which allows the grip to be set further back. And usually we set this gap here um, thinner so that we actually use it to grip onto your hand. So rather than the hand just sitting in the grip and taking the weight, we actually use the grip to sort of sit squeeze your hand a little bit so that it gives you extra support so when you put the hand in now it will sit slightly further forward than perhaps you're used to um, and the angle here means that it will sit further back and we basically try and get it as close to the bar as we can so that it can support your hand and then the trombone sits on your hand in the same way as with the classic grip which is for the triggered instruments it's just that we make more grips for triggered instruments probably because they're heavier but this adjustment here is exactly the same as before. If you need to adjust this, just open it up and push it back. You can move this, you can move this back and forth in either direction. And if you want it to sit further back on the trombone, if you just imagine where that sits on the instrument there, if I shape this end and push this further down, it's going to mean that this sits further up. And a tiny adjustment on the grip makes quite a big adjustment on your hand, if that makes sense, okay? Now, it's very similar on the small bore trombone. Exactly the same concept. We've got a, tight, a, a, a steeper angle here to get it to sit back in the trombone to get your thumb over there. Um, and I've also shaped this smaller so that it will grip onto your hand. And it's likely that in this case, you are gonna have it sitting over your knuckle, but that's totally normal, okay? And you can, shape this, round it, twist it, bend it to try and get it as comfortable as you can. There's nice padding inside to help with that. So pops on the trombone like this underneath the screw on and then your hand will go in and it should allow your hand to sit over the your thumb to sit over the bar and you should be able to hold the trombone without using your fingers. All the weight is taken here straight down into your bicep. That's the idea. So these are the grips for trombones without a trigger it is shaped slightly differently and it if you're trying to use the same grip between an instrument without a trigger and one with a trigger that is quite a difficult transition to make unless you're going to do it once and leave it for six months and then put it back it's quite a difficult one it's quite a big difference on the same piece of kit but there we are so that's the colder pips grip for a trombone without any trigger any problems just send us a message and we will help obviously all trombones are slightly different everybody's hand is slightly different where you hold the trombone may be slightly different so if you have any issues with this please just send us a message and we will do our absolute best to help you there we are